Oh, they'll be calling you a radical, so we have a Alice McFarland sighting. Now, you know Alice McFarland was head of the nuclear rally cheerleaders, and the only person that ever confronted her, that was me, going right at her. This is how out of touch she is. And she's making statements about comparing and contrasting, and she's even throwing <laughs> cold water on the hot water. But this is how out of touch Alice McFarland is. Guess where she's at? <laughs> the University of... She's in British Columbia. I wonder if she walks out and goes salmon fishing or walks out and looks at the tide pools. She needs to call the biologist and ask him if she knows anything about the Fraser. That's really what hurts nuclear now. There are clans made of small milk here. <laughs> Look here, here. The expenses dominate the capital cost, blah, blah. The plants at Vogel in Georgia are up to $14 billion. Hello, Allison. I got news for you. The cost is $29 billion. She's out of touch. She's out of whack. <laughs> she, I mean, so this is an interview. I was, remember when Bush wanted to bomb him? <laughs> so they talk about, you know, they compare and contrast. You know, it's Jennifer Graham home, France, <laughs> when... The due diligence that got done on the European taxonomy, the EU, says no nuclear, no SMRs. She does do a pretty good job when they start talking about SMRs. Now, let's get into this. So, even the UK, everybody going SMR match. He talks about Gates and Basils here. I'm at their, I mean, Utah here, where we're funding them all. The fairy tale, they don't exist. Not true. So they're using this number 19%. Let me debunk this number. This was the number they used in 2012. This is the number they would tell you in 2012. Allison, do you know how many freaking reactors? I'm sending this directly to her. I have her people's emails. Did you understand how many nuclear reactors have been shut down since 2012? Well, should we start? Send an offer? That was, remember, we had the hearing? Remember, that was me confronting you? Kicking the... How about Pilgrim? How about Indian Point? I won't stop there. How about Cahoon? How about Oyster Creek? I mean, I mean, we've cut and shut down over 30 of them. There was 104 or 68 TikTok to Apple Canyon. So you, you, you're telling me that 67% of the reactors that were online in 2012 are still producing the same amount that they're producing 20 million. No, she's out of touch. She's out of whack. And well, again, I can prove it. Vogel, that's the only one that's been. Watts Bar took 44 years. It's the only one in the construction. It's still not done. She's saying 14 billion. Now think about this. That's what bankrupted Westinghouse, which Westinghouse took down to Sheba. So let's go on with her ridiculous interview. Okay, you mentioned designs. First of all, this, she does a pretty good job here. 70 years old, many of them exist. Now, here's where she gets it right. Many of them exist on paper. You can read. So, the paper, the models, then this to scale model, which, new scale from hell. So this is important. She's out of touch. She's out of whack. So let's get into this. So here in Utah, I battle the new scale, the fairy tale. You know, now remember, I, I want to explain something. Let's go to this. Get to this, Kev. You should have had this up. Yeah, well, I'm a busy guy, if you haven't noticed. Okay, let's stay with me. It's important. The irony, she still won't mention, you know she's the Fukushima cover-up queen, Greg Jacko, and she got confronted by Kevin Blanche right here. Now, let's get into this. This is the consent-based hearing. That's me going directly at Allison McFarlane. The only time she's ever been confronted. There she is. Okay, let's get back. There she is right there. That's Allison. See, she's got her head down because I'm going right at her and she's pretending like she's on her phone. 
she doesn't want to look me in the eyes. I, I, I want to explain something. That's Allison. That's Kevin Blanche. So let me explain this. Let's get back to her. We have an Allison McFlash. <laughs> Uh, they're all criminals. The cover of Fukushima is the greatest crime in human history. She's paramount. You know, I was just going through this, looking through this. This is important, too, because I'm digging through this, and I found this today, and I'll post it. Let's stay with me on this, and then we'll get back to Allison. So, Margaret Hamburg was head of the FDA. Now, we, we've approved another Fukushima come up. Biden's just said he's going to up the old Fukushima cover-up. So, Margaret Hamburg was head of the FDA when Fukushima happened. Now, guess this. I just, I didn't know this. You know, I'm doing some work today, and I found this. She was appointed in 2002 as the, now this is the Government Commission on Nuclear Threat. What? Excuse me. 2010 Commission on Nuclear Threat. Now, remember, this is head of the FDA. This is 2009, May 7, 2009. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's get back to this. Got a lot of stuff I'm working here. Don't tell me I lost it. Oh no, this is the Bezos flyer today with Bezos and make it so Star Trek. He was killed in a plane wreck today. Whoa, whoa. Okay, here it is. Let's get back. She's losing this. Pleasure's analysis, which comes right out and says this solar is incredibly cheaper than, and she tries to debunk it, than solar. Solar rooftops are not that in. Well, now no, stay with me. Okay, dominated by the capital plan. She uses 14 billion when we know it's 29 billion. You know, she's out of touch. Now, I'll, I'll tell you some stuff that I probably haven't told before. So, at that hearing, when I go off, you know, I still believe in you, Allison. MIT, MIT. So I walk around. I go outside. And remember uh, how nice is the invented air? I just couldn't make it. Any video streamed and his IT people couldn't get it right and it was all messed up. Remember that? Same here. So I walk around and their ISIS sneaks in. I get pictures and he ran from me. He saw me in a little run. So I saw Allison. So I walk around here to the back of the room after the hearing. Everybody's taking pictures. We're talking, you know, Gary Hedrick, Kathy Iwani. I mean, all of us people. Oh, no, I take it back. Kathy wasn't that hearing, but, uh, Peter and I, and I see Allison. So I walk up, hey, Allison, and she literally ran and went out the back door and got in her, you should have seen this fancy car and her driver and drove her off. Okay, okay, all right. So, The claims made, that was, you can read through it yourself. But she basically says what, I don't have a good question about, and this is important because she did a presentation at that hearing, that same hearing that I was just showing you. Where is it? on my front page. So she did a presentation at this hearing. 
talking about, and this is, she doesn't bring that up in the interview, does she? At this hearing, we have it. We have it. Peter's got it on his site. It's up. She does this incredible presentation about nuclear waste because, you know, she's anti-yucca and always was, blah, 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 blah. So this presentation, she goes in and says, we've been searching for this answer and this reed mox and this mist fuel for 70 years. And she says, it took me a long time to come to this epiphany. And she says, but I've realized there is no answer for the nuclear waste. In a hundred years, there still will be none. That's Allison right there. She's looking at me now. That's all the mock mocks. So you go ahead and read through it. So I honestly believe that all of them should be in jail, including Donald Trump, including Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, that's why I go on my rants. Just stick it in Yucca Mountain in the middle of the night. Don't tell anybody. Well, I got news. That's exactly what they're going to do with the waste from San Onofre. Oh, it's going to whip. I guess it probably already has. So I'll be heading to San Diego. Uh, looks like we're going to get super, super low tide on uh, super low tide. I mean the lowest of the year. Dead tide pool jumping. Bobby Mamalanche, world record holder. We're going to get, let's see, let's go to this playlist. There's about 300 videos in this playlist of tide pools. Did you notice that YouTube has got rid of the dislike button? The dislike trolls hmm, finally got something going to our advantage. So we're going to get the lowest tide of the year. And it's going to be negative 1.8, negative 1.9, early December. So I'll be there. I'm going to go to San Diego. I'm going to work Point Loma. You know, you know the, they're the best tide pools that I work. We'll see. We'll see. You know. And so, Allison McFarland citing, I'll post it. You can read it for yourself. <laughs> it's almost laughable. And to think that she's in British Columbia. <laughs> right there where they're getting hammered the hardest. And I want to say this to Allison. I'm going to send this to her people. Oh, by the way, I wrote my credentials today. That's my credential one. When Bill Scumbag Gates and Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett took pictures with me. And <sighs> yeah, that's in Omaha. That's me. Yeah, God. So, anyway, I'll be in San Diego at low tide in early December. So, let's get back. I'll post all this. You can go through it yourself. Pretty amazing stuff. You know, so. 19%. She really is. Oh, that's almost comical. I mean, it just shows you how out of touch all these people are. I, I want to let you know, Allison. What is the role you see in nuclear plant in the future energy, not only in the United States, but globally? Right now, it plays fairly significant role in electric production in a small amount of country. I imagine that it will continue for decades, and then we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I have not a crystal ball. <laughs> not a word about Fukushima. Now, again, I cannot overstate this. Alice McFarland was head of the NRC, the nuclear when Fukushima happened, it was Greater Jacko. Not a word. Don't say the F word, Allison. And you heard me go right at her about Fukushima. You heard it. You know, the only person on earth that's ever confronted anybody from the NRC, anybody ever, in the history of the world. You're looking at him. It's unbelievable. I mean, oh God. And you interviewers, you're interviewing about nuclear energy. Wouldn't you think this interviewer would say, now, wait a minute. What about Fukushima? Now, they do call it here, right here. Of course, when things go wrong in the 20th century, whether you do nature or human, you go wrong. Chernobyl, Fukushima, Three Mile Island. But she doesn't ask Allison about it. She doesn't. That's that's just her statement, opening statement. <laughs> Can horribly go wrong, you think? And I like how they have Chernobyl, Fukushima. It should be Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, and capital letters, Fukushima, the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. Let's see, one partial meltdown that 800,000 men entombed, that nasty, wicked. Three full-blown-out meltdowns, not to mention Mox Fuel in Unit 3. 
I'll post these interviews. So, I was wondering where she was at. <laughs> we have an Allison McFarland sighting. British Columbia. Allison, why don't you go salmon fishing on the Fraser? Post Fukushima, they're down 99%. Why don't you walk out? Some of the greatest typos in the world, right up there where you're living. Go look at them. Typos down 99% post Fukushima. Don't say the F word. Greta, Greta, I'm waiting for Greta to say the F word because she's getting frustrated and mad. Say the F word, Greta. Amazing, right? So. Little sister hits the stage. <laughs> what a historic video. There's a lot of those. You know, they've all been confronted by me. Uh, I can't believe it. It's like Colin Powell. Weapons and I'm at weapons of mass destruction. There's Allison. Well, she's looking at me right there. So, stay in tune. My cancer fight ended yesterday. They're going to deal with a whole different Kevin Blanche now. I'm healthy for the first time in 10 years. For the first time. Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of nuclear death? I fear no evil. Stand tuned.